Hey, what's up guys, Captain Zach here. Well, we have a bright sunny morning here in the, uh, the Sumner Strait. So yesterday it was probably like five to six footers out here, really heavy wind, like 30, almost 40 knots. And today it just laid down perfectly for us. So first thing in the morning, it's, a, it's an outgoing tide. So it's not, not the best tide, it's a little bit, uh, a little bit of an outgoing tide, a couple of hours away from that, from that low. So we're just gonna kind of stick, stick out the fishing and hopefully as that tide starts to turn, we'll start to, to pick up some action, hopefully bounce these jigs in front of some hungry halibut. Oh, a nice little keeper cod, first thing. Yep, just a little guy. Probably a sculpin. Yep, Mr. Sculpin. Feels like another little sculpin. Fish on it. Good one? Uh, no, but it might be a halibut. It might be a little halibut. Oh, nice Pacific cod, really nice one. Delicious eating. Nice Pacific cod. <laughs> Just hammered that, that little chicken slayer. Flounder. Everything but a halibut this morning. Cod, flounder, sculpin. Probably a sculpin over here. Imagine that, another skull. It's like dead weight. Try sculpting with his mouth open. Sculpting with his mouth open. Hmm. <laughs> well, I didn't pick one. <laughs> Second to hit the ground, another sculpin. Imagine that. This is a, a sculpin frenzy here. Those halibut do like to eat them. It's a hot bite. It's just not the right, not the right bite. Got another one. As we keep pivoting around the anchor, it's a good, right as the tide's turning. This halibut should be here. Keep fighting through these little ones. It'll pay off. We got another sculpin. Oh. Switch to the seven ouncer with a GoPro. Same result. At least we'll get to see how many hundreds or thousands of sculpin are down there now. Oh, we got a halibut hook up here. Let's clear, let's just clear that and focus on this fish. Okay. Mine's out as well. There you go, nice. Sweet. Nice and easy. Slow and steady. If he needs to run, let him run. Just keep it tight. Keep it tight. Good, good, good. Oh yeah. Woo! Oh. Oh. No, still no, on there? No, yep. he came up. Yeah. Real. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. How about that? After all those sculping, awesome chicken halibut. Oh, great fish. Yeah, that was crazy when it sort of swam right up at you. Yeah. I'm sure your heart skipped a beat on that one. Yeah, I thought he was off for a sec. Well, if he was off, then you could have said he was an 80 pounder. Yep. Possible barn door. Yeah. It was a cool fight. Some cool, really ripping that drag out. There it is. Yep, you got it. I was just getting a nibble too. Is that halibut? Yeah. Sweet. Another halibut. I'm gonna leave pounder. Decent one or? Ah. I'm gonna just leave one. In the holder. holder.
Okay. There we go. Let's see what we got here. That feels good. There you go. Yeah. Nice. We'll take an old drag. Nice. You on? You're, you're on. Uh, how's he feel? Good. You know what? I'll, I'll let it eat that jig. That's fine. I want to make sure we get this one in the boat. Got a little halibut frenzy going on. Got bites on both sides of the boat. Good. Nice. That current's kind of ripping a little, so. Yeah. Fighting both the fish and the current. Oh, yeah. Nice. You think, you think his halibut's around there? No, I'm thinking no, you might have a halibut. Okay. Nothing with yours, but it went down pretty hard. Yeah. Nice! Oh, the pounder strikes again. Beautiful. Awesome. Awesome, Howie. Just sucked in that pounder. <laughs> 16 ouncer. There you go, huh? <laughs> well, that melee is over. A couple of hallies, bang, bang. And this rod was going off too, so yeah, let's reel that up and see what. <laughs> oh, I've got fish on here. <laughs> really? Yeah, I have a hallie. Yeah, I thought it was. It was just sitting there with the jig in his mouth. I was too busy. That's a good one. All right, so I shouldn't even put mine down, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was landing that fish. My hook is up. I had a halley just laying here with my jig in his mouth. <laughs> I told you it looked like it was going off. Yeah, I, didn't, yeah. I didn't pick it up because it looked like it stopped. So we're going to keep our lines up, huh, Zach? Uh, maybe, since yeah. they're going to drift right in. Yeah. And then if you want, you I want can. Me? I have the gap. You want to trade? Yeah, something? trade. I'll hand you the rod and we'll okay. scoop them up. Well, I'll just keep it safe until then. Feels substantial? Yeah, it feels pretty good. Yeah. Another victim of the fire eye. Yeah. The, <laughs> the glow eye, fire eye, whatever. Yeah. Fire eyes are putting on a show here. going to need a nap after this. <laughs> Three in a row here. Bang, bang, bang. Okay. He's coming up. I'll let you know when I get color and I'll just hand it off. Okay. We'll trade. Which side do you want me to go on? You uh, just back here and then I'll sneak right in here. Okay. Okay, I got, I have color, so. He might go on another run. The... There you go. Oh, there goes that run. <laughs> Where did he go? Here you go. It's under the boat. I'll just do it. Can I keep him out? Nice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, look at that. That's what halibut fishing is all about in Southeast Alaska. We just waited out a couple hours, lots of little sculping, and then bang, bang, bang. Three awesome halibut. But this is the kicker. Probably about maybe a 55, maybe 60 pounder. Just a gorgeous fish. Well done. <clears throat> Now let's get a few more. All that, all the discussion about like you have to have the proper hook set, like you have to yank. Jigging, it's so precise, you have to yank just at the right time to set the hook. So how, was, sometimes it, they, how was it that you, you know, did you just pick it up and say, oh my God, it's right there. Yeah, there's heavy weight on it. it. It was laying there with the jig in his mouth. I'm almost certain of that. Yeah. Hey guys, Captain Zach here. I am so excited to share this footage with you. So obviously, as you saw, we had a pretty solid morning of fishing. We kind of muscled through some slower fishing, catching everything but a halibut. Then once that tide turned, it just exploded. We got three in a row, bang, 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 including a 60 pounder. So any day you catch a 60 pounder is a great day. Uh, but then I checked the underwater footage and I was totally blown away. So this is, this is by far the best footage I've ever seen uh, of halibut underwater. And I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so here we go. Uh, remember, my rod's in the rod holder at this point. I'm on the other side of the boat landing a halibut, and there's the jig on the bottom, and bang. You see, it, the, this halibut just crushes it. That's a 60-pound halibut. 
and he just sucked it in. That is a seven ounce fire eye glow jig that had a strip of uh, salmon belly on it. But he just totally engulfs this and then just starts swimming with it. So he's kind of like just chewing on it. He's not swimming really hard either. Like the boat is pivoting around the anchor at this point. Remember that low tide is turning right at this point. So the boat's moving just a little bit uh, which gives him just enough sort of room to, to start swimming lightly. But you can see he's not going not going too hard. When I eventually caught this fish, remember I said, oh, he must have just had it in its mouth the whole time. But check this out. This is a razor sharp hook. I'm talking like I, I, I make these hypodermic needles sharp. Uh, this fish is just swimming with the jig. You would think there's he'd be hooked in, a, in an instant. But here we go. Bang, he spits it out. So after swimming with it all that time, chewing on it, he spits it out, which is just crazy. And now check this out. Totally unbelievable. He comes back and bites the GoPro. It's just insane. Take a look at this in slow-mo. So he's coming at it. I thought he might take a swipe at the jig, but no, he comes right at the GoPro and just unbelievable. I mean, he just opens up, sucks the whole camera in his mouth. And if you look really hard, you can see through his gill. See the light back there? And then fade to black. I mean, this is in the halibut's mouth. If he had chosen to just do a violent head shake, he just would have ripped the GoPro right off. I mean, that was just unbelievable. I never in a million years expected to see something like that. But in any event, so now I'm here we are again. So he's now bit the jig once. Now he totally bit the GoPro. Here he is again. So again, I'm landing that other fish. I have no clue that this is going on other than I see my rod going bump, bump, bump a couple of times, which could have been a sculpin for all I knew. But here we go. So that fish just shows right back up. So after taking a bite of the GoPro, now he's just sort of uh, hanging out. He's just staring around this jig. Uh, he definitely wants it. A really nice, nice strip of uh, salmon belly on there. So now he's just eyeing it up. It's just like a standoff. See the jig just, you know, not a ton of action there. A couple of the legs are still still doing their thing with the current, but it's just laying on the bottom. But that halibut uh, wants a piece of this action. So he's, he's still very interested. Bang, he picks it up again. So you see him kind of chewing on it. He's trying to make up his mind and bang, sucks it in. Okay, fully in his mouth again. Here we go. So, you know, round two, he starts swimming with it. So again, this is a, a, a razor sharp hook and he somehow spits it out there again. So like just this is unbelievable that this fish isn't already hooked, given that he's been swimming with it. He comes up against some pressure. That is just a razor sharp hook that should be like in the side of his mouth. But somehow this halibut finds a way to spit it out. Here he comes again. And this was like a half hearted effort there. So the jig got down against a rock and he just sort of came in and took a, a light swipe at it. So as all this is going on, again, I'm just like, this rod is in the holder. Unbeknownst to me, there's this really nice fish down there. And eventually, eventually I will come and pick this rod up. And so like, you see the halibut, he's still interested. There's still that yummy piece of, uh, of salmon belly on there. Here goes the jig, a little more action. Probably the boat pivoting here. And eventually when I pick it up, the jig will go up vertically about a foot or two. So just really watch for that. Here it comes up and he just came in and hammered it. So once I picked it up, that triggered the strike. And once, once I had the rod in my hand, I could feel it. I set that hook in an instant and there we go. You can see it's hooked up. Uh, he is definitely uh, coming up to the surface for a visit. So there's just a little bit of that footage. You see it got much lighter there. So I fast forwarded. It's much closer to the surface at this point. Uh, a solid hook set, no question about that. Once I finally got the rod in my hand, here he comes to the, uh, to the top. And bang, that should look familiar. That is us uh, pulling that fish aboard. And this is a really cool shot. You kind of see right in his mouth. There's that jig. Just an awesome, awesome catch. Unbelievable surprise when I reviewed this footage. So I hope you enjoyed that footage as much as I did. I know I always find it fascinating to understand what's going on down there on the ocean floor, especially as a big hungry halibut's biting. So really just to see how those fish are relating to your bait, what's triggering a strike, that type of thing, uh, that can only make you more effective the next time you, you head out there. So with that, uh, thanks everyone for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, tight lines and bye for now.